I'm with Seth Eckert, who's the ride test coordinator. In other words, he's got to um, get the feedback from athletes or riders and interpret that to make a better bike. Who articulates their thoughts the best? If we're talking about known athletes, who gives feedback that's actually useful for you? There is some tried and true internal people yeah. that we have. Um, and actually myself, Anders Alberg and Ben Coates are one of those few that we always go to for um, like lamina testing. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's, it, it's an interesting balance because we're trying to hit this very broad spectrum yes. between a, a professional team rider and the average consumer. All their feedback is good, so trying to interpret what they're saying. A lot of times on the Pro Tour team, English is not their first language. Well, okay, let's put it this way. I've tested yeah. 300 and something bikes. Yep. And only real, the real difference is noticed upon the first ride, really, yep. if you know what I mean. Yep. And it's best to go from one bike to the next. Correct. So, but, uh, and I guess I'm a little, now after 20 years of testing bikes, I'm a bit bored with trying to find the descriptive words yeah. when you're trying to put it into a test format on in a magazine. You yep. know? It just, it sends me crazy. I don't want to say it's stiff, it's nice, it drails yeah. through corners. Like, it's a, it's, it's a pain in the ass to yeah. describe a, a road bike. It's not like a mountain bike where you've got different wheel sizes, different suspension systems, yep. different things. So a road bike, you, your, your feedback is about negligible, tiny little differences. Yep. So who is able to articulate it? Like, and, and what sort of reaction or what engineering response do you give to those comments? It's a great question. And we're still trying to figure that out. Yeah. Like, there, there's a lot of people that um, either internal testers or external testers that we've had mm -hmm. that are able to detect subtle differences. Mm -hmm. So let's just use percentages. Yeah. A great example, the average consumer can't tell a difference between, between 10% plus or minus. Yeah. So if we're talking about like BB stiffness, yeah. it, it, it's the same to them. Um, there is some that I've used that are a little bit more refined that get down to that 5%. Even to then, now you're starting to get into like the manufacturing differences yes. or uh, variation. But like Sven Nies can tell the difference in vertical compliance in the seat mass on a boon okay. within a 5% band, which is really on a cross bike with already low pressure, you know, very in terrain, but he, he could tell the difference between the two. Okay. So, so it really depends on the rider and yes. then, you know, what we're doing. Um, but the dynamics of it all, we're still trying to understand. And as engineers, we would much rather have a number, right? Mm -hmm. So we do stiffness testing. Yep. You put X amount of load in this direction, it gives you a number, yes. right? So it's very definitive. Exactly, yeah. It's starting to take the subjective feedback yes. and make it an actual number. Yeah. There's still some things that we need to work out on that. Yeah. It's been, actually that corner model, we've been working on for the better part of five years. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's always evolving. And, and now we're taking the corner model in, in FEA and then trying to bring it into a lab test to give us that number. Yeah. Currently we're just looking at um, grabs and different slopes between um, current Amanda and new Amanda mm -hmm. and then comparing those two from front to back. Yeah. So it, to answer your question, we, it's hard. Yeah, you know? exactly. But, I think everybody's, to your point, is struggling with coming up with different ways to describe things, and um, and you know, like realistically, the whole industry is just taking that hair and then cutting it and slicing it thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. Yeah. So it's becoming uh, harder and harder to design bikes and to make bikes and to do those big leaps. Visually, the bikes from previous to, to new look very similar, yes. but if you have ever ridden current Amanda and yep. then now the new one, it is very different. Okay. You know, so it, it's pretty astonishing, like, we took that hair and we s sliced it, but that, you know, 5% mm -hmm. is actually really big. And, and it's, you know, like we tried, like we always try to do the best of both worlds, you mm -hmm. have to compromise, right? Yep. And some people like a bike to ride a certain way, and, and then others like it, like the complete opposite yeah. way.